This right here is our first new map and it looks awesome. What you have to do is you have to start right here and then go across this bridge where you aggro a boatload of crocodiles and the water inside is infested with sharks and all sorts of evil aquatic creations. If you go under the water, it's very terrifying down here. And um, this shark jumped uh, he's flying in this, oh, no, come to me, please. But we can't make simple humans go across it. No, 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 that's too hard. We have to send amazing creations like this Venusaur. Any Pokemon fans in the chat, comment down below if you like Pokemon, because this Venusaur is doing its best to get across the map, entering the shark tuna fish infested waters. There's the shark and the piranhas leaping out of the ocean to attack the Venusaur, who does not care and is being chased by all sorts of creatures. And the Venusaur made it to the end. <laughs> Good job, Venusaur. <laughs> what about this brand new sand? Look at the design of his face, his hands, and his pocket, his big bubble butt. Oh, Sands is getting close. He managed to get past all the crocagators, and now he's entering into the realm of the sharks and the piranhas that are nomming on his ankles. Now, if this was the real Sands, guys, you know that he would be instantly dead because the real Sands has no HP. And apparently this Sands is really quick and is zooming across the map, already defeating it as the crocodiles get shot at. No, no, no. If this was a real Sands, he would be dead. Up next, we have a brand new behemoth fight. Look at this new Ghidorah. What an amazing design on his face, his claws, his heads, the wings. This Ghidorah is stunning, and he's going to be fighting a brand new version of Godzilla, most likely complete with breath weapon, hence all the glowing in his mouth. Who is going to win? New Godzilla or new Ghidorah? Breath weapons launch. Ghidorah using one two, three different breath weapons. Godzilla is in tight, trying to use his claws, having a hard time getting through the body armor of Ghidorah. I am shocked at the size of his Ghidorah, who just exploded in a pile of yellow armor pieces. The Godzilla, look at his HP. Oh man, Ghidorah barely even injured the Godzilla, king of monsters indeed. Up next, we have a brand new map called the Stegosaurus Strip. I believe units are meant to try and make it past the Stegosaurus Tails, and the Stegosaurus seemed to be trapped into a location using a bunch of head harnesses so that the Tails maintain their position here in the hallway, and this poor defenseless human, who we are gonna call Billy, is gonna try and make it through Stegosaurus Hallway as the Tails completely murdered Billy on his quest to achieve the Golden Rainbow Crown. Maybe a winged hussar on the horse can make it past all the Stegosaurus tails. And in fact, it's just no, oh, it almost did. It almost got captured, but the winged hussar was capable of making it to the crown. But what's up here? What, what is what is all up here on this map? There's raptors. How do I activate the raptors? Even sending somebody as big as Achilles seems to be a bit of a problem because all Achilles wants to do is he wants to fight the Stegosaurus tails. The Achilles, there's a wall in the way. Wait, what, what, are you, what are you trying to do? Are you serious right now? This next new unit is Super Saiyan Goku. He's like a blue god version. Just an insane look at all the glowing coming out of his body. And his opponent is none other than Attack on Titan Simply Chris. Do you guys know who Simply Chris is? <laughs> you better. My money is on the Super Saiyan Goku. I'm not going to lie. Whoa! What? That Kameha was insane. Kamehameha. Don't, don't get mad at me for saying Kameha. Well, maybe in that case, we need an army of Attack on Titan Simply Chris is to go against this Super Saiyan Goku. There's so much death. Oh, look at the play. <laughs> look at the feel, the battle. This Simply Chris Attack on Titan unit is just, it's not enough. It's, it's just the bloodbath here. This next new map is called Spike Trio. There's a lot of spikes going on. See the spike here? You got spikes over there, spikes everywhere, all in all to try and avenge and kill this poor defenseless man about to be swallowed by a bunch of spikes. And to do so, we've got a brand new Bowser unit designed with these amazing wooden planks. Actually, that's a really nice design on Bowser. Can Bowser make it? Oh, yeah, just play stuck in Bowser's um groin. It's, uh, Bowser, hope. Oh, are you stuck, Bowser? You gonna make it 
through. That blade makes it through. The blade makes it through, and Bowser proceeds to get to the next blade, and he escapes it. Bowser moves on to the third that chops through his neck and doesn't kill him guys that was straight through his neck he should be dead the bowser makes it and defeats this evil thing sending it down to the spinning spike pit that bowser also goes into and gets yeeted across the map <laughs> ladies and gentlemen check out the amazing bloop in animal revolt battles him later another new unit this bloop is huge and hideous, and yes, he's flying in the sky because we're not in the ocean because I did not want the bloop to fight just a simple shark. I wanted the bloop to fight none other than Cthulhu himself. Look at the tentacles all over his arms. It's disgusting. And Cthulhu is ready to fight the bloop. The bloop is swimming down, gets his teeth on Cthulhu. Cthulhu does seem to have a breath weapon, but the bloop has a harpoon, keeping Cthulhu close so the bloop can continue to use its teeth and try and chomp on Cthulhu. And I do not like the way those tentacles move. It's gross and hideous. And right now, I think I'm putting my money on the bloop. Unless that breath... Um, guys, boys, bloop. Cthulhu, where, where are you going? The, the map's over here. You guys are way over there. And if one of you die, you're going to explode into a shower of 37 pieces. And oh, the bloop has Cthulhu in his teeth. Oh, it's hideous. I don't think Cthulhu's ever had his face nommed on before. The bloop is kind of cute. I'm not going to lie. He's got this big, adorable body. And the big, adorable body exploded into 37 pieces. And Cthulhu. Cthulhu is clearly the victor. Cthulhu has been moved on to the next round. His next opponent being the brand new goat from Goat Simulator. I'm not kidding. Did you guys see this Goat Simulator 3 out? And C C C Cthulhu, do you have any chill? Don't, no, 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 don't just come and eat the goat. That's horrible. We have another brand new map here called the Claws of Death. And I don't know why it's called the Claws of Death, but we're taking our Goat Simulator goat, the Goat King, the Goat God. So I want to see if he can actually survive Five, whatever the claws of death are, this goat can move a little bit faster. Bon goat, we don't have all day. I want to see what is going on with the claws of death. The goat is trying to slam his way into the ground, and there's a scourge down there. Oh, wait, how? How? Th th that didn't go according to plan. I'm going to give the goat another fighting chance, and this time try not to force it to fight, but its feet fall into this hole, because in there is another Scourge. I could just try and get my body in there. The Scourge is eating the toes of the goat. It's horrible. Well, we need some kind of creature to make it past this platform, so I went with Karuma, the nine-tailed beast from Naruto. Oh, he's cool, but he seems to be having... Oh, no, 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 no. That is going to be a massive energy blast. Hopefully, he can ignore the units down there. Why, why, why'd you fall off? Why'd you fall off? And and now your death beam's just trying to kill everybody. You're supposed to stay on the platform, Karuma. And yes, 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 that last unit was called Kurama. I know, I know. This is the Super Nintendo Godzilla. And I'm hoping he can kind of ignore the creatures in the bottom. Um, you know, using your breath weapon on the floor is only gonna make the floor fall apart even more and prevent you from walking properly, Mr. Super Nintendo Godzilla. Who's about to fall off the platform? Goodbye! I don't know, maybe Blastoise has a chance of making it through. And and by the way, this Blastoise, that's nightmare fuel. That's hideous. Those those hydro pump cannons on his shoulders are insane and and, and his his teeth in his face. He's hideous. But he's making it further than almost everybody. He's walking along, his feet perfectly landing on platform to platform, and Blastoise, who is the best season one. Rank one, um, uh, generation one starter. No, Blastoise, no! Don't fall into the hole, Blastoise, no! Ah, no one's ever gonna beat this map. Primal Groudon versus Charizard. Brand new units in Animal Revolt Battle Simulator. Now clearly, Primal Groudon should destroy Charizard because yeah, Charizard does not have the power of Primal Groudon. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna summon other Pokemon to see if we can defeat this new Groudon. We are adding Venusaur and Blastoise to the fight to try and defeat Primal Groudon. I'm in slow-mo and the lag is intense from the sheer amount of things happening. Blastoise is still alive. 
Venusaur is going for the ankles and Charizard is going for the jugular behind all that flame. So far so good, so far our original starting Pokemon to continue to battle against the Primal Groudon. Charizard just got exploded, that's not good. And now the Venusaur is in tight on the angles of Groudon. Blastoise is using Hydro Pump from a distance. Oh no, Blastoise just exploded into a shower of body parts. And now it's just Venusaur versus Groudon. Can Venusaur pull it off? Does Venusaur stand a chance? Can he use Solar Beam and defeat the Primal Groudon? Or will Venusaur meet an untimely end just like his two friends? Groudon can't seem to get the breath weapon down on the Venusaur, though the fires should be killing the Venusaur. And ladies and gentlemen, we're very close to a ring out situation. Maybe Primal Groudon will get rung out and Venusaur is victorious. Good job, Venusaur. And here we have another brand new map in Animal World Battle Simulator, and the premise is simple. Get through the spike doors. And once you are through the spike doors, I like how he's being escorted from spike door to spike door. Once you're through, come over here and destroy the box for victory. And first up through the spike door is somebody who's cheating. It's baby Bowser. But I hate to regret and hate to inform. First through the spike pit is flying baby Bowser who just got harpooned like crazy and now he's trapped. So wait, hold on. Is there a weird spider creature? over here behind everything. That's horrifying, it's floating in the sky. And it seems like Bowser Jr. might not be able to escape this. What kind of unit would be able to escape this? Like what about Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta? Could he ever get through this little spike wall? There's a whole lot of spikes and he's latched on in the ankles by those spikes. Actually, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta died? That's not right. Guys, we need something ridiculous, like Space Godzilla. Maybe Space Godzilla can just ignore all these harpoons and keep on marching forward under the arch. Wait, get through? Yep, Space Godzilla does not care. Look how strong he is. He's just walking forward. Oh, I gotta get the head under there. Good job, Space Godzilla. Keep going, buddy. You can do it. Just gotta get through. Victory! Space Godzilla is too powerful. By reaching it, he destroys the evil spider god that rested there. Good job, Space Godzilla. I'm honestly shocked that somebody designed Chainsaw Man in Animal Revolt Battle Simulator. This is so well done. But he's not the first chainsaw creature that we've encountered here in this game. His opponent, Chainsaw T-Rex. And I think Chainsaw T-Rex actually looks even cooler than Chainsaw Man. I'm not gonna lie, they're both fantastic. Who is the most powerful chainsaw creation? Well, we quickly discovered that. And it's true, if you did go and watch the Chainsaw Man anime and you watched a Chainsaw T-Rex fight him, I'm pretty sure the Chainsaw T-Rex would win. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Click the links on the screen. Watch my awesome video, guys.